Training in winter can be really hard work and pretty miserable. But we've got five hacks to make it more fun, enjoyable, and even bearable during those long, cold winter months. I'll take bearable. My winter training tip is to add a bit more variety to your training. I used to ride a road bike an awful lot in winter and it's no secret that all the top mountain bike pros do the same thing. So ditch the mountain bike, get out on the road bike, do some big long rides, it's great for your cardiovascular fitness. Winter is a great time to get out and explore. It could be that you're going to a new location or it could be that the trails that you ride all year round, you actually want to go and ride something a little bit different. You can have a look at the trail map, for example, when you get to wherever you're riding and go and explore the areas that you've not been before. As a racer, winter is all about getting the base miles, especially early winter. So think long, low intensity rides. Personally, I used to get out the old OS maps and just go for some massive, really mellow cross country rides. Now, if you are going to want to go out and go training during the winter months, the chances are you're going to have to wrap up warm. Coming from Scotland, this was one of the hardest things that I had to do when I was racing pro. It'd be wet, it'd be muddy, it'd be cold, and the motivation to go mountain biking was pretty low. But I didn't have a choice, and I had to do exactly that. I had to wrap up, and I'd start with a base layer, go onto my riding jersey, and then finish off with a jacket, just to keep me warm, dry, and hopefully keep me riding for longer. Don't forget to reward yourself. It's probably taken some extra motivation to get out and train in winter. So why not stop at the cafe or the pub on the way home? You'll have burnt so many more calories anyway. Gas on, chocolate cake, please. Nice. Tip number five is to set yourself some goals. That could be a certain mileage. I used to try and set myself a goal of sort of 40 miles off road. And that's really gonna help with that motivation to get out there and do it. It could be all about making waypoints. So you don't have to make yourself one loop in an area. You could do different ones where you could actually cycle from cafe to cafe or even pub to pub. Anyway, if you want to watch some more videos from GMBN and particularly some training ones, why don't you click just down here for the gym training playlist. And click down here for the epic ride playlist where you can see some of the big rides we've done in the last couple of years. Don't forget to click on that globe somewhere right just about here and you'll get to subscribe because by subscribing you get a great video every day of the week. Give us a thumbs up if you like training in winter.